All right, guys. So you guys know that controversial company, Super Eagle, they are attacking the creators now for their content about their company. One creator in particular, Tajay, shout out to Tajay. She made a good video about controversial company, Super Eagle. And all of it is, of course, alleged. And all of it is in her own opinion. Controversial company Super Eagle reached out to her with a possible collab only to turn around to ask her to take the video down because it makes them look bad. Well, let me just say this. Controversial company Super Eagle, you've been looking bad. You've been looking bad. You spend a lot of, of money to create positive ads. You give money to creators, to drivers, to anybody that would make the company look good. You spend a lot of money on that, on, on try to have a positive light. What you need to do with that money is give it to the drivers that's already driving for you. Use that money to better train your driver managers, help them help the drivers to make more money instead of having the drivers out there looking bad, damn near bankrupt, okay? That's, that's my advice. Now for the Kool-Aid drinkers that are making money with Super Ego, this isn't for you, okay? It isn't for you. If you're making money over there, by all means, continue to make the money, continue to drink the Kool-Aid, continue to make something out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. I give you a hand clap. Good job. This is not for you. This is for the drivers that had their problems, whether they have been with the company for a day or a month or six months or four months is for them that came over to try to make it work. Guys, welcome to the channel. I got this email from John Doe. I appreciate you reaching out to me and sharing your story. This is the story of John Doe and his issue with controversial company, Super Eagle. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, been watching your podcasts and watching numerous videos on the Super Ego. I'm reaching out to you a little early before making a final decision of whether or not I'm going to walk away. My reasons for coming to the Ego was to do better than a company driver and family. I have a clean driving record and pride myself in holding that for the past 20 years. I've worked as a dock worker, LTL driver, and OTR so I have a lot of experience in the industry. This is to give you some idea of my background. Your podcast with Amanda and the other lady I just watched as well as the numerous videos as you already know there is truth to a lot of what's out there. I'm going on for months here and since I have a lot of information I could list, I'm gonna just hit the key points for now. In another week I will know if I'm gonna make it here or not. To lend to the posts and comments about those making it are the ones not talking is true and not true. Yes, I've had some issues here which I did go in the negative which took me a month to dig out of and it's tough getting out of it. Now they claim 10 weeks are gonna be really tough cause of the expenses which the realistic time frame is gonna be 4 to 5 months and most coming in at 75% of the load will average a weekly pay of $500. People are not disclosing this reality. Now Super EGO determines what you make a week and get paid as the more you make the more they take. There are patterns and behaviors that are consistent throughout the month depending on the weeks as in relation to your expenses. The first week of the month is your biggest expense week. You will run a good pay week the week before as they need to be sure they get their money. The other three weeks there will be excuses on the loads that nothing is paying well or loads disappeared and brokers cancelled. These weeks are your money-making weeks so the drivers can expect not to run good weeks hence what I said about average pay of $500 a week. 
These things will happen consistently and drivers, if keen enough, will pick up on the pattern. Note, drivers cannot bank the $1,700, $2,000 to $3,000 without running illegal with manipulation of the ELD. For those who are running legal are only going to do $3,500 to $4,500 a week in loads, which they may see between $500 to $900 depending on what they want to give you. Trust me, I've ran both scenarios to see exactly what the differences are and you've got to constantly have ELD reset so you're able to hit the $6,000 to $7,000 a week mark and yes, you've got to run hard and run the clock out. The biggest problem with the whole pay thing is Super Ego gets their cut of 25% before anything else is deducted leaving you with 75% to pay basically the retail cost of all expenses, which then greatly reduces what is left for the driver. I hope you're seeing the point I'm making here. For those that have been around for a while who are getting 88% of the load are pocketing about $1,000 or more every week. So these are the drivers who are banking good money, not the ones at 75%. Now I haven't figured in my last two pays in the numeration. Pretty much the breakdown of what Ego got and what I got is broken down and it's very disgusting. Loads ran in three months total $60,000. Super EGO entitlement, $16,000. My cut busting his ass, $5,600. This is the reality here. These are the hardcore facts of what my experience has been. Like I said earlier, this next week is gonna tell the tale and I'm staying out for a month and I'll make my decision if I'm gonna stay or not, most likely not cause I'm not gonna run illegal consistently. I would like to get with you in the future to talk about this. Just want to see what happens here in the next three weeks. People are gonna go bankrupt here. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any stories or anything like that, you can reach out to me by the email. That's lockoutmanpodcastguests at gmail.com. Or you could text, that's 216-600-2090 to share your story.